In this video, we're going to take a deeper dive into factor ladders. We're really going to explain what's going on in a factor ladder when you're using a factor ladder or a, div or a division ladder and how you would use it to find GCF. So I'm going to show alongside uh, what the factor ladder would be if I had some numbers and what it means in terms of using an example. So the example I'm going to use is the grouping fruit example. Now, we did this in class where you had to figure out how many groups you can put these things in. And ultimately, we try to find what's the greatest number of groups that you can put the fruit in. So if I divide all the fruit out evenly into bags, what's the greatest I can do? Now we can use a factor ladder to figure that out. We start with the amount of fruit of each. So we have 18 strawberries and we have 12 bananas. And then using the factor ladder, which looks kind of like an upside down division house, we look at 18 and 12 and we think, well, what can I divide both 18 and 12 by? Now you may look at those two numbers and realize, well, they're both even numbers, 18 and 12 are both even, which means I can divide both by two. So if I divide 18 by two, I get nine, and if I divide 12 by two, I get six. Okay, these division ladders go down, and then basically what I did there was I took all the fruit and I broke it into two groups, and that's what it means. So that first rung of my division ladder was just me grouping the fruit into two groups, and I can see nine and six is how many strawberries and bananas are in those groups still. Now, nine and six, I have to look at those two numbers and ask myself, are these both divisible by something? Do they have a common factor? And they do. Nine and six are both divisible by three. So if I divide nine by three, nine divided by three is three, and six divided by three is two. So what I did there was I took each of those sides and I divided it into three equal groups. Now, as far as the factor ladder goes, the greatest common factor, or the GCF, I can get from these numbers that I actually divided out. Now, I divided two numbers out, I divided two. So first I made two groups, and then I made three groups in each of those, so that's a six total groups amount. You can get the GCF by multiplying those outside numbers two times three, and that's just how many total groups you're able to make. Okay, now the bottom numbers are important too because the bottom numbers on your factor ladder tell you how many is in each group. Those are your per group numbers. So for example, um, strawberries, if I look down that column, there's a three at the bottom, which means there's three strawberries per group. And if I look at bananas and I look at the bottom of that column, it's two bananas per group. And again, that's if I make six groups. If I make six groups, that's how many is in each of those groups for each of those things. Now, let's just say, let's look at this example, start back over, same example. But let's say you thought, you looked at 18 and 12 and you automatically thought, well, I know that six goes into both. I can divide 18 and 12 both by six. So when you divide 18 by six, you get three. And when you divide 12 by six, you get two. Now, you can't divide 3 and 12 anymore, so the factor ladder is over. The GCF, the greatest common factor, is that number that you picked. If you only pick one number, there's nothing to multiply it with. That's it. That is your number. So that would be your greatest common factor, 6. right? And we, we found that the other way, too. This is just an alternative because it's kind of – factor ladders are sort of a choose-your-own-adventure. It's what do you know goes into both and then you put down what you know goes in. Now, if you'll notice that after I make the six groups, those bottom two numbers are still my per group numbers, right? You'll, you'll notice though the same numbers on the last example, right? The strawberries are three per group and the bananas are two per group. And that's again, if I make six groups. So factor ladders are very handy. They can tell you what the greatest common factor is and they can tell you how many is in each group if you made that many number of groups. Now, here's an example with three fruits. And you can actually use the greatest common factor on these three as well. So if I took the bananas, the strawberries, and the pineapples, and I count how many there are, I'll notice that there are 12 bananas, 
there are 20 strawberries and there are eight pineapples. So what's the greatest number of groups that I could possibly make here? Well, if I put them in a division house, I notice that 12, 20, and eight are all divisible by two. I can see that they're all even numbers. So let me start by just halving all of them. So I'll do half of 12 is six, and 20 divided by two is 10, and eight divided by two is four. So I just halved all of those numbers, divided them by two, and that basically that means I just made two groups. Now, six, 10, and four are still divisible by something. They're all even numbers, so that means I can still divide them by two again. So if I divide six divided by two, I get three, and 10 divided by two is five, and four divided by two is two. Now three, five, and two are not divisible by anything other than one, so that means my factor ladder is over, and I, I made each of these into two additional groups, right? Which is four total groups when you look at it, and remember the GCF is these outside, num outside numbers multiplied together. So two times two is four. And that's how many total groups I can have. That is the GCF for this example. The bottom numbers here are still your per group numbers. Even in the three example, you can see if I made four groups, then I would have three bananas per group. I would have five strawberries per group, and I would have two pineapples per group. So it even works for three numbers. It's a really neat trick. There's other things that the factor ladder can do, but this is how you would use it for the GCF and how it applies to our grouping fruit example.